Hey everybody, uh, part one of my video tonight is, is I'm going to get this uh, compressor out of this unit and uh, see if I can get it running. So uh, time to get the oxy out and start hacking. Hmm, you see how we go. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this without killing myself. Not too bad with the old gas axe. Oh well, I'm going to have to figure out a different way of doing that. Thanks for watching. Well at first I thought these bolts weren't going to come out. Um, they were very, very tight. Very tight. Um, what I ended up doing is because they're stainless, I couldn't cut them with the torch. I actually just heated as best as I could the actual stem of the bolt. And lo and behold, all four have come a bit loose. Now, that's one of the other mounting bolts there fucking stainless good thing it's uh, stainless in a way because they didn't rush together but uh, I'm well on the way to getting this bastard out now hmm two more bolts mmm refrigerant oil highly flammable mmm almost out heh <laughs> heh chip <laughs> And moment of truth, it's out. Oh, just a few more wires to cut. A few more bits and pieces. Getting excited. Gonna compress some air. There we go, one big bastard refrigeration compressor. And it's usually kind of like me to uh, pick the biggest one you can find to be the first one you play with, so here we go. You know, hook this bastard up and see if it fires. Hmm. Interesting, very interesting. And I do have three phase and I will fire it on three phase. 
going to have to get some of you fridgy boys to teach me a bit more about this. But uh, I'll get there, I'll figure it out. This is the unit out of that container refrigeration. Uh, 17,500 BTU an hour. Mmm, more to come. Thanks for watching.